boys and girls. I am about to do a super fun lesson with you that I got uh, inspired by Cassie Stevens, one of the awesome art teachers up in the Nashville area that I follow on Instagram and YouTube. She was doing Crazy Scientist Week and had her students do some bubble printmaking. And I loved it so much, I thought you guys would totally dig this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the supplies you're going to need for this. Because um, I didn't have the exact same supplies that Cassie did. Um, I didn't have any at my house, but I did have some things that we could make work. So I'll tell you what she did and then what I did. And then we get to make some uh, cool bubble prints. One thing you're definitely going to need is some dish soap. Um, this is a great thing to make bubbles with. Um, if you don't have dish soap, I say any soap would work. You might have to use a little bit more uh, hand soap because it makes really great bubbles. Um, one thing that Cassie used that I don't have is she had food coloring. And I don't have any food coloring in the house right now, but I did have some tempera paint. And tempera paint is important because it's washable. So I would not use acrylic paint because you're going to be putting some paint into some cups at your house and we want something that's easy to wash out. So tempera is what I have, and that's what I'm using today. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. Your objective for this lesson is I can create bubble prints with soap and paint. Now yours might be a little bit different. You might be saying I can create bubble prints with soap and food coloring, but Mrs. Hopkins is using some paint. You guys ready to get started? Okay, here we go. All right, boys and girls, welcome to Mrs. Hopkins' Crazy Science Table. Now, I told you before I borrowed this lesson um, from a friend, Cassie Stevens. I totally got to meet her, so if you're following her on YouTube, she's a really, really cool lady, awesome art teacher, and uh, definitely borrowing this lesson from her. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you my version because I don't have food coloring at home and I'm not going out to the store to get any but I did have some paint at home. So one thing that Cassie said that her students should do, and I fully agree, is that when you're creating this, if you're creating it inside, um, because maybe it's raining outside or it's too hot, y'all just can't go outside, you wanna have a tray to catch any mess or any spills. Um, because as you can see, the bubbling that we're gonna be making could spill over the cup and you don't wanna get that anywhere in your house and then you're in trouble and you're grounded from art. So don't get grounded from art and always protect your area. So let's talk about the supplies we're gonna use. Um, I've got just some water from the sink right here. I have dish soap. I have a straw, okay? And it's important that you listen to me when I talk to you about the straw because we don't wanna be drinking any dish soap. So we're only gonna make bubbles with a straw. We're not drinking any of this even just saying it grosses me out. I've got a couple cups, one, um, I'm, I've got my red bubbles here, I'm gonna make up some blue with you guys right here. And I have a paintbrush, but anything to stir with would be fine. You could use, you know, like a spoon, um, anything that's gonna really break up the paint and the soap and the water. So a paintbrush worked pretty good. Um, let's talk about our objective. Uh, that is, I can create bubble prints with soap and paint. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the process, but by the end of your lesson, you're going to be able to create some bubble prints with soap and paint. Um, you're going to want to have some kind of light colored paper. I'm just using some white paper here, but anything that you have really works, um, like newspaper would work fine. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add some water to a cup. And this is about a half a cup of water here. And I always get a little extra. And then what I did is I went ahead and added some of my soap. So you're gonna wanna add a good amount of soap. You know, don't use all of mom's dish soap, but use a little bit. And I did break up the soap. I didn't clean my brush off really well, so now it's gonna kinda look purple, but that's okay. So the soap and water is mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and add some paint. So when uh, Cassie was using her food coloring, she did about three to four drops. I found out that I needed to use a lot more paint with my red color. So I've got several squirts in there. 
probably about five or six. And a little bit of this, this science experiment is, you know, uh, trial and error, okay? You're gonna have to make an estimate about how much paint you think you'll need to add to your water and soap solution. So I've mixed it up with paintbrush, and you can see some, there's already some bubbles forming around. I never tap my brush. Remember, always wipe your brush. Now here's your straw. I've got this really cool bendy straw um, that Ollie likes to use that I will clean out really well after this, but we're gonna go ahead and make some bubbles. So this is the end that goes in. My mouth's gonna go on the other side. Don't mess that up, and I'm gonna blow some bubbles. Okay, I already see the bubbles are coming up to the top, but they don't look very blue. So I'm gonna just catch them on this paper here. Let's see, I'm just gonna pop the paper right on there. And I didn't really see any. So that tells me that I need to add a lot more paint. So I'm gonna add, hmm, let's see, a couple more squirts of paint in there. Give that a good mix. And you have to make adjustments in art, you know? If you try something that doesn't work, you gotta adjust and see like what can I do differently to get a different result, the result that I want. I want blue bubbles, so I need to add a little bit more paint. Oh yeah, we got nice bubbles coming up the top. Let's see if these are a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna smush it. Oh, I caught some bubbles there. Let's go ahead and add some more. I'm gonna smush it again on the same paper. Oh, I'm catching some really cool bubbles. So this is my blue color. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Ooh, now I'm getting some really cool colors. Now, you know, I'm thinking that this blue might look nice if I take another color. I already did some red, and it kind of looks a little pink on the white paper, so now I'm gonna add some blue onto this paper. And a little smush. Oh, how cool. I can see where the red and the blue are combining. It kind of looks violet. Oh, that was a really cool bubble. Okay, let's go over here. Oh, how fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this whole paper and I'm gonna alternate between the pink color and the blue color and fill this whole thing up. One thing I notice is it smells really fresh in here from all the dish soap. So I kind of like the way this project smells. There I have some really cool paper. And it's all bubble printed. Now, boys and girls, what you can do after this is totally up to you. Um, you could use this for a background. You could draw on top of it. You could fold it and make a card for someone. But you have created your own unique piece of paper that has bubble printing in the back. I think this is absolutely beautiful, even just as it is. But I challenge you to see, like, what could you do with this paper now? So you have a beautiful print. Stick it up on the refrigerator gallery. That's where all, our, all of our artwork is hanging up right now. Uh, make it into a card. Make it into something else entirely. Uh, Cassie told her kids that you could find the shapes. I can really see a 
cool bubble right here overlapping with this one. I kind of see like a flower shape there. And there's so many cool things that remind me of like under the water texture, like on a coral reef. This might be leading you to a whole new project completely. Maybe you wanna cut it up and use it for a collage. I can't wait to see what you guys are able to create when you upload it onto the Google Drive. Um, I hope you guys had fun with this. If you like this printmaking, I've got one more really cool uh, printmaking lesson that involves water and chalk. And I'm gonna see if I have time to go outside this afternoon and uh, take a video of that for you. So if you were able to do this and everything turned out the way you wanted, then you mastered your objective. And you can create bubble prints with soap and paint. Now, if you used uh, a different material, if you guys used the food color, I can't wait to see those results. And we can compare our pictures who had lighter colors or darker colors and maybe what you would want to try differently next time. I miss you guys. I can't wait till I am with you again. Until then, give yourself a big hug for me and I'll see you in the videos. Bye.